Hi, I'm Bernie Mitchell, AVC CAM Evangelist, and today we're going to talk about frame rates and resolutions on the AG HMC40 camera. This little camera comes with a whole number of different resolutions and frame rates that you can shoot in in high def, all the way from 1080 interlaced at 60 frames a second to 1080 progressive at 24 and 30, and even 720 progressive at 24, 30, and 60. Well, how do you know which frame rate and which resolution to pick and to set your camera up with before you start shooting? Well, that depends on the look that you want. So let's take a look at a bunch of scenes shot at the various resolutions and frame rates so you can see what the little camera can do. Then you can make a decision as to which one you're going to set the camera up with before you start to shoot. This scene was shot in the pH mode, which is the highest bit rate and the highest quality. The setting is 1080-60i. 60i means the image is interlaced. This setting gives you footage that looks the most like normal television video, although now, of course, it will be in high definition. This scene was shot at the pH mode 1080-30p. A couple things have changed in the camera setup. 30p means 30 frames per second, and the p means progressive. In this case, the entire frame is captured all at once. Any progressive image can be frozen and will make a rock steady still frame. Additionally, at 30 frames a second, the camera begins to look a little bit more like film and a little less like traditional video. However, to get a true film look, you'll need to shoot at 24 frames a second. This sequence was shot at 1080, 24 progressive. Notice how the colors are more subtle. The image looks more like film. Remember, if you shoot at 24 frames a second, you must slow down any camera movement. Otherwise, your video will look very jerky. Shooting 24 frames a second requires very slow camera movement. Shooting at 720 gives you the same options, but with a bit of a different look. Let's take a look at some scenes. Here we have a scene shot at 720 60p. It looks similar to footage shot at 1080 60i. However, this is 60p, meaning it is progressive. As a result, you will not see the interlace artifacts of 60i. This sequence was shot at 720 30p. Again, at 30 frames a second, you have kind of a hybrid look. A bit like video, and a bit like film. And of course, at 720 24p, once again you have that smooth film look. This camera has three additional settings which allow you to shoot a little bit less quality but if your video is headed directly for the web, your file sizes will be a whole lot smaller. So it might be something that you want to look at. I know of an ad agency down in Florida that in fact does a lot of web work and shoots all of their stuff at these lower quality settings. And the stuff, how does it look? Surprisingly good. In fact, let's take a look. This split screen shows the highest quality, the pH mode, along with the lower qualities. Look at the six megabit stream. It looks surprisingly good. Now here is a split screen of traffic, lots of fast motion. Again, look at the six megabit stream. It looks pretty good to me. Okay, so now you've seen the different resolutions and frame rates that the camera can shoot at. The question becomes, which frame rate, which resolution should you pick? Well, that really depends on what you're shooting and where it's going to end up. For instance, if it's going to be broadcast, I strongly recommend that you talk to your broadcaster first and see what resolution and frame rates they will accept. As a rule of thumb, remember, 1080-60i gives you a traditional video look. 1080-30 progressive or 720-30 progressive or 60 progressive at 720 gives you kind of a, a hybrid look. Uh, and then at your 24 frames, 10, 1080 or 720 at 24 frames, that gives you a very filmatic look. The choice is yours, but you do need to set this up before you start shooting. How do you set it up? Here, let me show you. Okay, you turn on the camera, and then on the flip-out viewfinder, push the menu button on the right-hand bottom side of the viewfinder. Up comes the main menu. Go down to the second setup, which says Record Setup, and touch that, which then brings up a number of options. The first option says Rec Format, which is the recording format. If I touch it, it opens up another menu. Here you see all the various options, starting with the pH mode, 1080-60i, 1080-24p, 720-30p, and then pH again of 1080-30p, 720-60p, and 720-24p. Then down at the bottom, you'll notice where it says HA, 
18060i, HG 18060i, those are the lower quality settings basically for web. If I touch the lower arrow button, we go down to the HE setting, which is the lowest quality. So when you decide which format you want, all you have to do is tap it. It will outline itself in yellow, and then you click off of the menu. As you can see, changing the frame rates and resolutions on the HMC40 is very easy. Now have fun shooting and go get some great shots.